Snapchat, what's going on? Say hi, babe. Hi. Hello. We're doing Adele tonight in Brisbane. Look at this commotion. The streets are shut down. The choppers are in the sky. There's military over there. This is one person's voice. We're doing a question of the day today. Here it is. Question of the day. Does it take money to make money? Can you go and start making money without having money to start with? Good question. Many, many people say, I can't make money because I don't have any money to start with. It takes money to make money. This is a, this is a half truth. It would be foolish to suggest that someone with a million in the bank to start with is on an even starting point to someone with zero in the bank to start with. It's easier when you have money to start with. But many, many people use this idea, this belief system that they've subscribed and subordinated to, it takes money to make money, as a dissociation from the fact that they really don't have a plan, they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. So they use it to say, well, uh, it's, not, it's not my problem, I don't have money to start with, so I can't make money. And in so doing, they dissociate from their own wealth and they move financial independence further and further and further into the distance and they'll probably never ever get there. They're the people who won't make it. Whenever someone tries to tell me it takes money to make money, I say, okay, what if I give you a million dollars? What's your first step? What are you doing this afternoon with your new million? What are you doing the second step, third step? And if they can't clearly and congruently spit the answers out step by step, I'm doing this and I'll do this and then I'll do this and I'll do this, they don't have a plan. It's not, the money is an excuse. It's an excuse to dissociate from the fact that they got no fucking idea what they're doing, they got no plan, and they're probably feeling lost. They feel like lost souls. And they're blaming no time, no money. It's the old excuse. For the 1% of individuals who actually have the plan, and the legitimate, authentic reason is that they need a little bit of a cash injection, a little capital injection to get things moving, then I encourage them to change their paradigm, to change their thoughts, to change the questions that they're asking themselves about the business. Instead of saying, how am I going to get money to start? Ask a different question. The quality of your life, the quality of your business, the quality of your relationships and financial world depends on the quality of questions you ask yourself. Why not ask yourself, how can I get paid to do the next step? Because even the people, even the 1% of people with the plan, many of them still have this belief that they need capital. They need to be millionaires to start with. If I only had a million dollars, then I'll be right. What are they going to do with the capital? They're going to go spend it. They're going to go blow it. That's, that's the opposite of the idea of business. The idea of business is to make money, not blow money. So you want to get the first step in your fucking business plan and say, how can I make money doing this step? Not how can I get this capital so I can go and blow money on doing the first step. It's a change of thinking. If the first step you need to do in your business is to learn something or to gather a skill or gain your expertise and your awareness, ask yourself the question, how can I make money to go and get more skills? Go and get a job in that field. Find the companies on the planet who are at the cutting edge of that particular field and go and apply for a job. Go and work for them. Get paid. Learn the skills. The next step in your plan might be to go and build the product or develop the product. How am I going to get paid to go and build my product? Ask yourself the question. This is what Robin did with her books. In this particular product, the best idea was to do a pre-sale. We did a pre-sale. She sold the book before she had the book printed. Took the money to print the books. So it's very rarely that you need capital. You don't need capital, you need creativity. You ask yourself more creative questions, wiser questions, and you get the answer. The next step in the plan might be to market the product. How are you going to market? Ask yourself the question. How can I get handsomely paid? How can I ball out from marketing this motherfucker? When most people who have this fucking product and they're trying to market, they think, oh, I need $20,000 in marketing budget so I can go and blow it on ads. That's dense thinking. In digital marketing products, we have what's called tripwire products. So it's anything that's like a $7 product, $10 product, $15 product, very low price, pack it with value, use it to market. So instead of blowing your entire marketing budget on a big ticket item that's quite hard to sell, got a very low click-through rate, you can offer a cheaper product, lower price point, higher click-through rate, and while you might not make the big dollars on such a cheap product, the $7, the $10, the $15 is paying for the ads. So you can scale your marketing for free.
And when you sell the $7 product, you pack it with value. And you make sure that the person who buys the $7 product, is, they get a lot more than $7 worth of value. You're building the client rapport. Also, someone who buys a $7 product is a much more worthy buyer, much more qualified buyer to buy the big ticket item than someone who won't even be willing to swipe $7. So you're building client rapport, you're providing value, you've got an income stream, your marketing's being paid for, and you've got a list of high quality buyers. You don't need $20,000 in the bank to go and do ads for ad spend. That's, you're not thinking, fuck, you know, your brain's not turned on. What about Coca-Cola? They don't think like that. Remember a couple of years ago? I don't know if they still do this shit. They, they started printing the bottles with names, common people's names on the bottle. How much extra did that cost them? But I assume that the kind of demographic that drinks Coca-Cola is pretty fascinated by elementary shit. So when they get the name with their friend's name, they take a photo, face, they put it on Facebook. Could you imagine the exposure that they had from that? Oh my God, Mark, your name's on the, on the bottle. This is stupid shit. This is very simple. They ask themselves the question, how can we market without paying extra? In fact, I know people who went to the shop just to look for their name on the bottle or just to look for their girlfriend's name or their boyfriend's name. They made extra sales from it. But that's what happens when you ask yourself the question, how can I get paid to do the next step in the chain, the next step in the business? How can I get paid every step along the way? That's entrepreneurship. Same thing with trading as well. Same thing for all the FX traders, all the investors, all the speculators here. They, common thing, I've got no capital, I can't start. Oh, here's a million dollars. What returns are you getting? Oh, I don't have any track record. I've, got, I've not done demo yet. I haven't practiced. <laughs> anyway, I hope today's question of the day was worthy. I hope that was valuable for you. Let me know if you enjoyed it. I will do another one tomorrow. Send through the questions.